Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and it's been two years nearly to the day since I made my first video about Matter, a read later app that was brand new at the time. I think it was still in private beta at the time, but it was an absolute breath of fresh air compared to what I was used to in the read later space at that point. A lot of the apps that used to be great had really devolved and they hadn't been taken care of properly. They just, the quality had gone down and they'd passed like ownership, passed from one holding company to another. Like it seemed like nobody wanted to own these businesses and it was just a mess. And I think those apps honestly still are kind of a mess and not things I really want to use. But Matter was a, just, it really made me happy because it was an app built from the ground up with no baggage around creating a great reading experience, and that's what all the decisions in the app seem to be based on, and I really liked it at the time. And I was really excited when Matter reached out to me to sponsor a video because it gave me an excuse to look at the app again and see what's updated about it, what's changed, and what I think is cool. So today I'm gonna to take a look at some of the things that have been added to the app since I last used it, and why I think some of them are pretty awesome, and if you're looking for a read later app, why Matter could be a great pick for you. So the first thing I wanna look at is podcast, because that's the newest thing Matter is released and I'm really pretty excited about this one. So you're not going to use Matter as your full podcast player, but if there are some episodes that you want to pay attention to a little more closely or you might want to share some highlights or clips of what people say in them, um, this can be really helpful. So I have this new Vergecast episode and if I go ahead and share this to Matter, it's going to save it to my queue. And if I swipe on over to the Matter app, there it is right at the top and I can go into it and the show notes are here if I wanna go through those. And there's also a transcript. Uh, this transcript will take a couple minutes to, or a few seconds to load uh, based on how long the episode is. Um, but basically I can go ahead and use this as a full-on podcast player. If I want to uh, just hit play down here at the bottom, you can see it's actually going to follow along in real time as the episode plays. I've got the volume muted here, uh, but it is actually just like if you're doing text-to-speech, it's fully in sync with what people are saying, which is really awesome. So it basically gives you the ability to follow along in text form as you listen, uh, which is great for taking in additional information. It's kind of helpful to read as you listen um, in many cases. And you can, of course, highlight. So if I like something uh, that was said here, I can just go ahead, like in anything else in Matter, and I can go ahead and highlight it. And now I have a highlight from this podcast. It can sync over to my other services. I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, it's just a really nice way to listen to some podcast episodes. Again, you're not going to subscribe to all of your podcasts and listen to them all here. But for those shows where you want to listen a little more deeply, I think it's pretty great. Another thing that's really rad, if I go ahead and pause this real quick, is uh, if a podcast doesn't do chapters, it can be kind of hard to find where in the episode things are talked about. There's this little icon up here in the top right, and if you tap that, it actually auto-generates chapters for you. So if you want to see what they talk about at certain points, you want to skip to a certain section, Let's talk about the FTC versus Amazon. It can skip to where it thinks that topic begins. And it's a really great way to get something like chapters into a lot of podcasts because frustratingly, most podcasts, especially mainstream podcasts, don't use chapters and it's really frustrating. And it's just really cool to have episodes broken down into these sections automatically. So I think this is a really great feature and a really great way to listen to some of the podcasts in my life. Now we're switching over to the web interface where I can show you YouTube videos, which is kind of a similar situation to podcasts. Uh, if you save a YouTube video to Matter, it's going to generate a transcript for you the same way it does for podcasts. And again, this is not using the auto captions that YouTube does that don't do punctuation or capitalization correctly or anything. It's actually doing a much higher quality version of that. And if I play the video here in line, it's going to also follow along in real time as quickly as they're talking in the video. I think if I skip ahead, it's going to actually keep syncing. Yeah, so there it goes, it keeps going. And like with uh, any other article or anything in Matter, I can go ahead and highlight something and save a highlight if I want. That'll sync over to my other services, whatever I'd like. So I really like this for kind of active listening or active watching to more educational videos, more kind of things where I want to get a takeaway or things that I may want to share a quote from that uh, video or podcast, I think this is a really great tool that I haven't seen done this well anywhere else. 
Gonna have to switch over to some B-roll for this, but I really love the ability as well to highlight things as you listen to them on your AirPods. So when you're listening to an article, whether it's text-to-speech or a podcast or a YouTube video, whatever, if you're listening to something you've saved to your Matter Q, you can actually highlight without unlocking your phone, without looking at the screen, without doing anything. All you have to do is double tap the AirPods that you have in your ear, and it's gonna highlight the previous uh, paragraph for you, which is awesome. It lets you kind of just listen as you're walking the dog, as you're working out, whatever. And without having to get your phone out or anything, you just tap uh, the AirPods real quick and it saves the highlight for you. And again, syncs to all your other services, whatever you have set up. I really love this little quality of life thing because I listen to a lot of the stuff that I save to my read later queue. Okay, now I've mentioned the integrations a couple times. So what are the integrations? And I do think these are really useful for someone like me because I like to read in Matter, but then these highlights need to go somewhere. I like to save these and I use them for like blogging and writing link posts and everything. So if I go into the app settings, I can go to connect accounts and there's ways to get things into Matter as well as getting things out of Matter. So to get things into Matter, you can link your Gmail Pocket or Instapaper account. And that basically will make it so that if you link your Gmail account, newsletters that are delivered to your email can automatically be forwarded to Matter. Uh, and if you have Pocket or Instapaper connected, you can basically make it so that when you add an article to Instapaper or Pocket, it's automatically added to Matter as well. And what's the point of that, right? The point of that is really, I think, if there are integrations out there through something like Zapier or if this and that that work with Instapaper and Pocket, but they don't work with Matter just because Matter's newer, you are able to um, kind of use these automations to save things to Pocket and then have it automatically appear in Matter so it feels like a native, native Matter integration. Um, the out ones I think are really uh, interesting as well, and you can see I'm using those. Uh, you can basically sync highlights or saved articles. So I'm linked up to Notion and Readwise, so when I highlight something in the app, it's gonna sync those to a Notion page that I've got set up. It'll also sync them to my Readwise account. And so I can also do that for Obsidian. I can have articles that I save to Matter sync to my Kindle, and I can also do it to Rome Research or LogSec. LogSec? I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm saying it here. Um, and yeah, these are really great. So. Kind of similar if you want to add Obsidian, for example, they have these really quick, easy to understand, quick um, setup processes. You can kind of see uh, with if I have the Readwise one, if I delete my account there and then reset it up, it kind of walks you through. So it's really easy to set these things up, walks you through one or two steps in most cases. Super easy, but I like having the freedom to not be locked in to matter necessarily. I can use it. I can get all the benefits from it. But if I want to sync things out, it's also there if I want it. Now let's go back to one of those articles and show you one of my favorite little features, uh, which are quote shots, I think they're called. Um, so if I go into this podcast uh, that we were listening to, the Vergecast episode, I made this highlight, right? And I often want to share these things to social media to kind of show people like, here's a cool thing that happened on a podcast or in an article or whatever. Um, and those can be kind of dry, so you want them to be a little more visual to make them pop in people's feeds. So here's a highlight. If I just tap it, I can go ahead and hit the share arrow, and it's going to give me some options. I can make it a square or wide. I can change the colors of it. So let's do yellow and cool. I think this looks really good, and I can go ahead and tweet it. I can share the image or share the highlight as text. So let's share the image. It's going to bring up the share sheet, and I can share it to something like ivory, and there's the image, and I can add uh, whatever text I want, link, and go ahead, boom, post it to social media. So really love this ability to kind of create more visually striking striking um, links to the, th the articles and videos and podcasts that I enjoy um, that pop a little bit more on social media. And finally, I want to take a look at the inbox, which is a way to discover things to read in Matter. So we've been looking at the queue this whole time. These are things that I saved from YouTube, from my podcast player, from my RSS feeds, from newsletters, from social media. These are things I manually saved to Matter, but I can also follow people directly in the app. So down here at the bottom, I can switch over to the inbox view, and here's a feed of things written by the people that I've chosen to follow. And I can add more people if I'd like. I can hit the plus up here to see who I'm already following and hit discover to find new people who might be interesting. Um, I can see popular on matter, and then there's some curated list from lists from uh, 
different categories. But basically you can find new people here and you can add kind of them all up to your inbox and then you'll see new things to read. So if you ever run out of things in your queue, which I don't know if anyone's ever run out of things to read in their read later queue, it seems like they always just get longer. But if you ever just want something new to read or you want a different way to follow a couple of writers who you really care about, you can follow them right here in the inbox view. And yeah, it's pretty nice to have this as another way to follow people and find interesting things to read. So yeah, that's my look at Matter, some of the new features they've added in the last few months, especially the podcast feature I think is really cool and really implemented exceptionally well, the way it generates its own high quality transcripts, lets you make highlights and share those really easily. Um, I think that if you are looking for a read later service like this, I think Matter is a really great option and I'm really happy that I had an opportunity. I know this was a sponsored video, but I genuinely do think the app is really great and is a really nice service if this is the sort of thing that you're looking for. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.